in 7 May 2022, the Business Times published a report stating zero commission trades don't mean free trades in many cases. In this report, a sales manager noticed a deficit of US dollar eleven thousand in his account after sold his shares. The problem is the settlement fee. Although this happened in Tiger Broker, but we could see that Mumu also has exactly same settlement fees to the Tiger Broker. And on the Mumu marketing material of the free commission, do you see the star here and here? That means you need to read the fine print carefully. Hello everyone. Now, Futu Mumu is advertising its zero dollars commission on US stocks everywhere. You can even see the advertisement in J. Chow Carnival World Tour in Singapore. Is this true? It is a marketing gimmick. In this video, I will analyze each fine print of this to identify if Futu Mumu a really zero commission platform. I will also perform real trade to check the commission structure of Futu Mumu myself. You can look for all the links in the description. I access this link on 16 May 2022. First, for the $0 commission package, it involves the following. A keyword here is US stock. So, this promotion is not applicable to stocks listed in Singapore and Hong Kong exchange. The commission is $0 forever. Next, the $0 platform fee is for one year. It also shows free New York Stock Exchange at Crabooks Level 2 after account opening. First, look on the $0 commission forever. Oh well, there is a star again. Let us click here to further check the terms and condition. First is the eligibility. Singaporean or non-Singapore citizens are residing in Singapore with a valid proof of Singapore residential address. Thus, I guess PR, work pass or social pass are also eligible. But this is not our focus of our video today. Again, here I would like to emphasize the free commission is valid for US stock trading only. US stock commission will be zero permanently, while platform fee will be $0.99 per order. Also, please take note that US option it also has a different pricing. Platform fee. For all customers like me, the free period will be until 12 April 2023. For new customer, the free period will be until one year from the date you have opened your account. Next, the third condition is referring the fee charged by regulation, exchange and the third party institution. These are the SEC fees, sales only, and settlement fee and trading activity fees. These are charged by SEC, US Settlement Agency and FINRA. These fees are not included in the zero commission. Let me check why we need to pay these fees. The first one is SEC fees for selling only. SEC stands for US Securities and Exchange Commission. SEC is part of the US government, which is a regulatory agency responsible for protecting investors maintaining fair and orderly functioning of the securities markets. SEC fee is easily understandable. It is a fee we pay to the US government to cover the costs involved in regulating equity dealers and the equities market. We can take it like a tax charged by the government when we sell our shares. The second one is settlement fee. The definition for settlement is the transfer of ownership involving the exchange of securities and payments. When we buy share, means we buy the share from someone else who sells the shares to us. Similarly, when we sell shares, someone will need to buy over it. The ownership is transferred. The US Settlement Agency is responsible to settle all of this ownership transfer. Can you imagine if we pay and buy a share? But the seller claims that they never received the payment and not willing to let go of the share. 
a settlement fee is to pay this US settlement agency to help us to settle all the ownership transfer. The last one is the trading activity fee TAF charged by FINRA. FINRA stands for Financial Industry Regulatory Industry. I did a brief check on FINRA. It is a US government authorized firm and a self-regulating body of the brokerage industry. FINRA is not part of the US government. Instead of individual investor, FINRA is regulating its members which are consisting of brokerage firms and exchange markets. The self-regulatory FINRA can only impose its rules on members and is responsible for regulating and licensing broker dealers. We can think of FINRA as a filter in the financial market to only allowing firms which can comply with the rules and regulations to sell and promoting the securities. FINRA also acts like these firms or brokerage examiners to oversee their operation and make sure they operate in a compliant manner. Therefore, in order to sell or trade any securities, firms must be authorized and licensed by FINRA. Last but not least, FINRA also has enforcing power and enforcing rules that govern brokers and dealers. For instance, FINRA fines broker dealers for sharing customer data with third-party vendors. In addition, one of the main roles on how FINRA protect us is FINRA regulates securities, financial instruments such as stocks or bonds that can be traded freely on the open market. In brief, we can think of we pay this fee as an insurance to thanks for them for supervising and regulating the brokerage firm for us. If we go to the above link, we can also see that Futumomo mentions they are also part of the FINRA organization. However, never trust on a single party. Let us take the information from the FINRA. From the link of the FINRA, this link shows that yes, Futu is one of the firms registered under FINRA. Thus, the fee charge is for FINRA, not by the Futu Mumu. Unlike the SEC fee and settlement fee, FINRA fee has a max cap of $6.49 per trade. My conclusion is, it is valid for Futu to charge the trading activity fee as they are member of FINRA. Live check. To check the fee imposed by the Mumu platform, I bought one UNH share and sell one AMC share on 17 May 2022. Please note that AMC is a gift stock from Mumu Activity. I am not a fan of hype stock. From my fund history, we could see that my stock buy and stock sell execution are recorded here and here. However, only stock sell fee is recorded. Thus, I could assume that no stock buy fee is charged, no commission and no platform fee. I also checked the transactions completed before 13 April 2022. We could see that the stock buy fee was charged. The stock buy fee consists of the $1 platform fee and 7 cents GST before 13 April 2022. Next, let me check the stock sell fee of the AMC share. The stock sell fee cost me 2 cents, 1 cent of TAF and 1 cent of SEC fee. Both are the minimum, no commission and platform fee were charged. For the transaction before 13 April 2022, the stock sell fee consists of $1 platform fee, 7 cents GST, 1 cent of SEC fee, and 1 cent of TAF fee. Thus, Futumumu indeed removed the platform fee, and the commission is at $0 now for US stock. In fact, I am also using TD Ameritrade as my broker platform for US stock trading. TD Ameritrade also claims they are a free commission platform. From the list here, we can also see that TD Emery Trade also charges one cent when I sold my shares. Thus, it is a common practice for the broker to separate commission and the other miscellaneous fee. Conclusion: This is the common fee schedule for the Futu Momo platform. We buy share, Futu charges us commission and platform fee. We sell share, Futu charges us commission, platform fee then SHC fee, settlement fee, and TAF fee. 
SEC and TAF are the fee paid as administration costs to the agencies who protect us. Settlement fee is paid to complete ownership transfer. One foot to advertisers is waiving the commission permanently and platform fee for one year. We can relate this to property buying. If a very good agent told us that he or she will offers us free commission, but we still need to pay legal fee, levy, stamping fee, etc. The legal fee, levy, or the stamping fee are equivalent to SEC fee, settlement fee, and TAF fee. Agent or the broker will receive this fee. To me, settlement fee and TAF fee are very small and they will incur huge sum cost to my transaction. In addition, if my stock provides dividend, I can easily earn them back. Please take note that a settlement fee is charged per share and there is no maximum cap. Please be cautious if you are a penny stock trader. You must include the settlement fee in your P&L calculation as you may trade many shares of a penny stock per transaction. My conclusion, Futubumu free commission platform is not a marketing gimmick as the additional costs are all paid to the regulatory agency and they do not receive any. I will continue to use Bumu as one of my main investing platform. Of course, hopefully they will wait the platform fee permanently in the future after Fufu managed to get more funds and grow bigger. I received an email from the Tiger Brokers that there will be a cap for the settlement fee at 7% of the trade value. This would be a good news to penny stock traders. I guess Futu is going to adjust their settlement fee structure soon too. Many penny stock traders are also scalpers or short-term traders. The broker is good to adjust the fee structure to cater them. In my next Futu Momo video, I will be sharing how to earn free money and shares through their platform. Please subscribe my channel so you won't miss it. Please like my video before you go. Thank you and see you in the next video.